Hi everyone, I am Georgina Gohagan and welcome back to another session from the Biochemistry Society. Today, we will be conducting an in-home experiment using red cabbages to create an indicator. So just to refresh, an indicator is basically a weak acid or weak base when placing a solution can be used to determine the pH of the solution, whether it is acidic or basic. So normally acids range from 2 to 6.9, while bases range from 7.1 to 14. The apparatus and materials that we need for this experiment include red cabbage, transparent containers, a blender, water, measuring cup, a funnel, holding containers, household samples such as vinegar, baking soda, water, and hydrogen peroxide that we'll be testing, as well as paper for our indicator strips. So here we have our sample of red cabbage and our first step is to take five to six cabbage leaves and get them cut into smaller pieces for them to be blended. So, we already have our pre-cut cabbage leaves and what we're going to do is just to add it to the container for it to be blended. But first, we need to add one cup of water which will be used to liquefy the cabbage leaves. collected the cabbage leaves and placed it in the container as well as poured the one cup of water. All we need to do now is to blend to extract the juice. So we have successfully extracted the cabbage that is blended and so now what we need to do is to just extract the juice from the cabbage sediments and we'll be doing that by using a sieving device and a spoon to kind of help and speed the process. So here we have successfully obtained our cabbage juice and this is what the filtrate looks like. From this cabbage juice right here, we are going to be using this to form our indicator and the mechanism behind this is that our red cabbage contains a pigment known as anthocyanin which gives the cabbage its purple color. So this pigment, anthocyanin, is water soluble and it is able to detect whether a solution is acidic or basic. So in acidic environments, this solution, which contains the anthocyanin, will turn red, while in a pH greater than 7, which is basic, it will turn a bluish green color. And that is what we're going to observe in a few by testing it on some of our homemade items. So in this method, we are going to use our paper strips to form our indicator strips. So we need a container and we place each strip in the container. And then we will pour some of the indicator solution onto these paper. So here we have our indicator strips still submerged in the solution and what we're going to do is to carefully remove each strip and place it in its drying container and we will do this to allow it to dry so that we can use it to test our homemade samples. 
So here we have our strips ready to be dried and just to speed up the process we'll be using a blow dryer to dry the paper. So here we have our container that will be housing our household items that we're going to be testing the pH for. But first, before we add them, we're going to take a sample of our indicator by using this syringe. And we're just going to get some of the indicator and place at each location. That's what we're going to do. I'm going to repeat the steps for all four. So here we have our setup and what we're going to do is we're going to just take some of each of the household items and put them in their respective spot and observe the color change via the liquid indicator method. So first we're going to try vinegar, getting a small amount and putting that in the area. And we see an instant color change to pink. Next, we're going to take some of the Ajax, which is a cleaning agent, and we're going to add that to this. And we see a green. We're going to add some more. See a green color change there. All right, so next we're going to try water. And we have our sample of water here. So we don't see a color change, which proves that water is actually neutral. So pH of seven right there. And our final sample is baking soda. So just to swirl it and then collect our sample of baking soda. And we see a blue green color change just to add some more see a blue color change and that's it for the liquid indicator test so previously we used the liquid indicator to observe the color changes now we will use our indicator strips so we start off in the same order so we start with vinegar and see if there is a color change. So as you can see, there is a pink color change in the solution in comparison to the rest of the paper. And we'll just put it beside vinegar here. All right. Next, we will try the Ajax cleaner. Let it settle for some while and then we observe the color change we also obtained a green pigment right so next we're going to test baking soda and before we do that we're just going to swirl it around again and then now we're going to add or indicate a strip and we observe a blue color change. And now, final to test for water. We add our strip in, give it a bit of a swirl, and we come with no color change. So this is the final product that we have observed at the end of the experiment. So at the end of the experiment, we can conclude that 
vinegar with a pink color change which is close to red is an acid while Ajax cleaner and the baking soda solution are basic components or alkaline components while water is neutral. I hope you guys had enjoyed the video.